Did you know there was once a Muslim man from Bosnia who sold himself into slavery, became a governor of Palestine, and then defeated Napoleon in battle? You see, Ahmed al Jazar was born as a Christian under the Ottoman Empire in the 1730s. And when he was 17 years old, he was on the run from the law because he had stabbed someone and was drifting from place to place and trying to find work as a sailor. Eventually, he decided to sell himself into slavery, even though this is actually illegal according to Islamic law. You see, when Islam came, it made enslaving people haram in all circumstances except for prisoners of war. You could no longer enslave someone who owes your debt or enslave the non-Muslims who lived in your land. You could not sell yourself or your children to slavery, and a child who was born to a slave was no longer considered a slave either. But the reason Ahmed wanted to sell himself into slavery was because he would then have a home and food and income and even medical care. And so Ahmed al Jazar was sent to Egypt to work, and there he found there was a class of rulers called the Mamluks who actually used to be slaves themselves but had risen to the level of Sultan. He ended up working for the governor of Egypt as a barber at first, but then quickly rose in rank, working as a slave to other emirs and Mamluks within the Ottoman Empire. And at some point during this time, he accepted Islam and became a Muslim. In 1760, he was sold to a slave master who he became extremely loyal to, and his master was later killed by bandits in a high robbery and so he managed to find them, trap them, ambush them, and get his revenge. After this, the Mamluks would call him Al Jazar, meaning the butcher, out of respect for his abilities in warfare. And because his master had died, he was no longer a slave. However, things would take a turn for the worse. One of the Mamluks appointed him as a district governor of Cairo. But during that time, Ahmed got stuck in the middle of a political feud between that governor and one of his rivals. So in 1768, Ahmed al Jazar had to flee for his life, running all the way to Syria. He was back to his pre slavery lifestyle, wandering from town to town working odd jobs and even at one point had to sell some of his clothes in order to just feed himself. Eventually he managed to gain the trust of one of the local emirs who made him the military commander of Beirut. But that relationship would sour when Ahmed became too powerful and the emir lost control of him. And so that emir teamed up with one of his enemies to take down Ahmed al Jazar. But this made another emir who was allied to him angry and so they got into a fight as well and that's when Ahmed basically said I'm out of here. So he packed his bags and went to Palestine. There he was invited to become the administrator in Acre, and from there he grew and consolidated his power within the Ottoman Empire. He fought and defeated various rebellions against the Ottomans in Palestine, in Lebanon, and Syria, and later became the ruler of Damascus as well, earning him one of the highest ranks in the empire. And then something happened, the biggest fight of his life, a military challenge like no other, Napoleon had arrived. In 1799, the French had conquered Egypt and were now in Palestine conquering city after city. It was as if the Crusaders had returned and the Muslims needed another Salah al-Din to save them. At first, the French took the city of Jaffa, marching the Muslim soldiers for days without food and water, and then stabbing thousands of them to death. They then took the city of Haifa and then used that as a staging ground, preparing their soldiers to take Acre. Al Jazar rushed back to his old city of Acre and at 69 years old, climbed up the walls of the city and personally led his troops in battle. Together with his men and with reinforcements coming in from the sea, they held on to the city for 62 days before Napoleon was forced to retreat, defeated. A massive success for the Muslims. Napoleon never came back. And all this from a Bosnian man who sold himself into slavery, accepted Islam, and became a hero of the Muslims and a defender of Palestine. Like a follow for more Muslim facts.